Hello, my name is Bo Shevisu. I've been told that within eight seconds, I must capture your attention. So I'm going to light myself on fire. We run a nonprofit film studio that produces media and video for other nonprofits. And so we know quite a bit about what makes a video tick, especially when it comes to marketing a nonprofit. Uh, and I'd like to share a few hints, tips, tricks, things that you can do whatever you'd like and uh, secrets that we hold very, very close to our hearts. And you can do, again, whatever you like with them because honestly, we're not about making money, we're about helping people. So the first thing that you should keep in mind when it comes to marketing is video. I know I'm partial, but video really truly is the most powerful form of marketing your message. Uh, next to talking face-to-face -face with someone, but let's be honest, you can only talk face-to-face -face with someone one at a time, and a video can reach thousands of people at a time. So consider video because it's not only transportable and you can reach a lot of people, but it's not perishable. That is, it doesn't expire like a mailer or a billboard, or it doesn't rub off a car like a sticker might. Video really does last forever. Put it on YouTube, it will always be there when people Google your organization. Best bang for your buck. Uh, when it comes to video, cost counts. Now, I know nonprofits hate this, and 90% and of the time we get wonderful churches, charities, nonprofits coming to us saying, we don't have a budget for this, and that's okay. We work within any sort of price line. Uh, but do consider that what you pay is kind of what you get. Uh, now, with that being said, you can pay $100 and have someone with an iPhone hold something up and get something good. Content is king, not necessarily quality. But with that being said, how many people have a volunteer who holds an iPhone like this when they are filming? In vertical mode. That's awful. You will lose a viewer instantly when something is in vertical mode. Don't do that. Or they're shaky or it's bad, it's bad audio quality and you can't even hear what's going on. Consider not just the image that the camera is capturing, but the person behind the camera. 95% of the time, that is the most important part of the film shoot, is the person behind the camera. And at Knox Studio, we are very, very mindful of, we like to say, get their names first before you get the shot. That is very, very atypical in the film industry. Most people get the shot first. Um, because after all, that's what's going to sell, right? Not necessarily. We don't like to put other people uh, in an uncomfortable situation. And I have been in many situations where people treat someone as a subject when they're filming them and they don't even know their name. That is so embarrassing. Get to know the person. The kid in the wheelchair, get to know his ice cream, his favorite sports team. Um, the, the African kid on the streets. Uh, buy him a mango first before you just thrust the camera up in his face because once you're their friend and genuinely their friend not manipulating them but genuinely their friend once you are their friend the footage you get is so much more organic and powerful they don't freeze up on camera so consider that be their friend before you get the shot you see a lot of videos from churches and nonprofits, food banks, great people doing wonderful things, but the emotions throughout the video are like this. And at Knox Studio, we have learned to tell the story of um, using emotional cues that make sense to the human brain. I'll give you an example. It's so much easier to go from sad to happy. Now that may seem like a no duh kind of thing, but you won't believe how many videos are out there where they start happy in the video and then they just get really, really sad. And by the end of the video, you are so depressed and you don't want to give to this organization because you have this awful feeling in the pit of your stomach. So consider that. Go from sad to happy. It, it may seem simple, but, but so many people violate that. Go into the element. The element is so, so powerful. Right now I'm in a great studio space. It kind of looks like I'm on an Apple commercial with this infinity wall behind me, but get out of the building. You won't believe how many nonprofits create a video where they just set some camera up in the office and they, they might 
interview, the CEO, or a volunteer, or maybe even someone they're helping, but they're in an office type environment. People want to see you out of the building, on the streets, helping people. And at Knox Studio, we get our hands dirty. As a matter of fact, we're not really a studio in a sense that we have a cold, dark space where we just set people up. We go out into the element. Everything is on location because that's where the people are. That's where they're comfortable. You put them in a studio type space and they freeze up in front of the camera and it's not organic. It looks like it's scripted. It's so fake looking. Go out there into the element. Get out of the building. Make a plan and then throw it out the window. <laughs> but no, really, if any of you guys are familiar with youth ministry, over plan, get all your batteries charged um, to the point where you have a shot list. But then when you get on location, go with the flow. You have to be flexible. And I've met a lot of videographers who go to classical film training school and they get set into this way of creating a short film. Uh, for example, we have to create a storyboard first. Not necessarily. You don't necessarily need a storyboard. Matter of fact, I've seen storyboards hamper people's filming style when they go out on location and they try to film something for Union Gospel Mission. Great, great people. But they try to plug these homeless people into their storyboard. They say, can you turn this way? Can you do this way? Can you do this? Can you say this? And it's so fake. It's not organic. Get to know the people. Treat them as real people. Because they are. And then go, just go with the flow. And that takes almost a journalistic type mentality rather than a filmmaker type mentality. Uh, so anyway, I hope that these tips, tricks, hints are helpful in uh, you, know, you creating your own nonprofit video. If you have any questions or if you're looking for a very, very affordable nonprofit studio, we are nonprofit. Our goal is to help other people before we make a huge buck. And uh, very affordable, cinematic. We love what we do. We're not perfect but I think we've got a lot of things working for us. So reach out to Knox Studio if you have any kind of questions and go out there, get out of the building, befriend people, and tell your story. 